Hello, my name is Sam Aldar, and in this video we'll be talking about section views, a feature in Altium available when you view your design in 3D mode. It allows you to create cross-sectional views of your design or, or assembly, similar to what major CAD programs do. I find this feature very useful, uh, allows me to create, to see my board uh, the internal construction of my board and my assembly in more detail and also helps me to view my my design uh, especially when I have large components surrounded by SMB components and also you can see the internal stack up of your PCB especially if you've got a complicated multi-layer stack up so in this video we'll be talking about section views and I'll be showing you a few design examples and use cases of how it might be useful to you Okay, so let's start with the first use case demonstration of section view. So here I've got a design of a DC-DC converter. It contains an EMC shield, covers the noisy bits of the circuit, such as, such as the switcher and the buck inductor. Now I would like to see what's underneath this EMC shield. One way is I could change the transparency of this model, but I don't want to do that. I just want to remove the top cover and keep the side walls. So now we have to use section views. To, to get to section view, it's located under the view configuration panel. You can simply hit L on your keyboard to bring this panel, or you'd find under panels, view configuration. Sometimes this could appear as a undocked window or on the left side. It's up to you where to locate this panel in Altium. By default, you'll be in the Layers and Colors tab, and if you simply hit Section View tab, now you can enable Section View. So let's go ahead and do that and by pressing the On button. Altium now enables Section Views of all three planes, plane X, Y, and Z. If you want to make changes to the location of these planes, just go to Edit, and now you have these arrow gizmos where you can then uh, move and uh, these, these uh, planes however you like. I could remove, I could move the Y plane and I could move also the Z plane here. You can either invert them in, in individually or you can invert them, all of them all together. So I just for now want to have the Z plane. So I want to remove X and remove plane Y and I'll be inverting the Z plane and I want to bring up my cutout plane a bit higher so I can see what's underneath the EMC shield. And if you go back to on, you can hide the overlays, and by default, Altium uses these colors for the section views. I can, you can change them. So if we want to change the color from blue to white, we can do that. And now we would like to see if this inductor can act. It does fit inside this EMC shield, and there is sufficient clearance. So now we need to bring back plane Y and remove plane Z, and you can see now that my inductor here can it can fit with, within this EMC shield. Um, you can also hit this button here on the top, which will then cycle between all these three modes. So if you press it once, you're in edit mode. Again, uh, you can hide the overlays and keep it on. And if you press it again, it will turn off section view. Okay, so let's have a look at a second use case, and this is a simple one. Sometimes when you import 3D models of through-hole components, um, some, some models contain long leads, as you can see here. I've got a bunch of components which have very long leads. Now, obviously, when this board is going to be designed and built, uh, those leads will be trimmed. So sometimes these leads can get in the way, especially when you're trying to Think of an enclosure for it, and if you're trying to export this as an image for documentation purposes. So this is where section view could come in handy. So let's try and get rid of these leads and shorten them a little bit. So let's um, uh, enable section views, and let's just go to the Z plane, and let me increase the Z plane up perhaps just about here, and click on on again to hide the, the, the Z plane. So there we go. Uh, in fact, I've cut in the component a little bit so I can bring it down gently. Here we go. So now we've got we've shortened those those leads. And now if I want to uh, be this uh, export this as an image, uh, just simply hit uh, Control C on your keyboard, and there we go. Okay, a third use case for section views is when you're designing. Uh, complicated layers and stack ups uh, or interesting types of stack ups. For example, here I've got a design of a PCB 
flyback transformer. This is a thick PCB, 3.2 millimeters, contains six layers. And so I would like to view the internal layers. I would like to show the, the turns. Uh, it also uh, helps me when I try to optimize this, this design a little bit. So let's enable section views. And first of all, uh, let's just go to the Z plane again and let's bring up the Z plane up a little bit. So I want to remove the top cover of, of this e of this e core. So let me invert that. And now I can bring it down a little bit. So you can see here, I've got my first layer. And if I bring this down even more, I can now see the second layer and the layer beneath it and all these other layers. And also sometimes you want to view in the Y plane as well. Uh, and maybe not just, let's invert that. So sometimes you'd, you'd like to see, for example, how close the traces get to the inner part a circular part of this core so it's a it's a useful feature section views um to to view the internal stack up of your pcb so as you can see here i can see all my my layers all the turns and the vias that go through as well okay so let's have a look at an, another use case for section views and this is a multi-board assembly i'm using altium's multi-board uh, assembly feature, which I find very useful. I've got multiple PCB projects uh, for this, and I've got an enclosure, a heatsink, and I'd like to put everything together. So first of all, let's uh, uh, try to insert this torture board into this socket here. And I would like to know when I when I insert this, how good of a, of a connection these pads are making with, with this socket. So first of all, let's try to insert this, this torture board. And to do that, we're going to use mating feature um, and there's many ways to mate this i'm going to just for now select this bottom face of this daughter board and i'm going to select this inner face of this connector here and you can see now it's been inserted but we have a collision this daughter board was designed such that the uh this inner face this this uh this face of this daughter board prevents it from going further inside so let's try to first of all correct this um can simply hit this and use the arrows on your keyboard to offset things or you can enter the numbers in this panel here so i think now this is this is okay and so now i would like to see how good of a connection these pads are making with the internal connectors of this of this part here so let's go to section view view configuration on and i going to use the the y plane so let me just edit this and bring in my Y plane back. There we go. And remove the overlay. Let's have a look. So we can see now that perhaps it is making a connection. Uh, maybe not all of the entire pad is being used. Probably this design could benefit from increasing this, uh, uh, increasing this this edge here and making it such that the pads go further in inside without having any collisions. So this is one useful uh, feature of uh, section views is to view how good of a connection your daughter boards are making with the connectors. And um, let's make more progress and let's now start uh, to uh, insert this boards into this enclosure now these are rf connectors and uh, these are chassis mounted so uh, these two connectors need to go inside these two holes and there then will be a a nut which will then uh, hold this board together it's not the best uh, enclosure design but this is just a just an example so first of all let's let's mate uh, this with the enclosure so i want to perhaps just uh, choose this face here to to mate with this face here and we have done that but we need to make some offsets and some changes so we need to um, bring this board um, down and maybe perhaps move it a bit to the left because this connector does stick out a little bit so this is where now section views comes in handy so let's say uh, let's uh, enable that and i want y plane if i'm in here and i also want the x plane to come in here so now i can can see that uh, how 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 much down 
this this needs to go the board needs to go so let's do that so let's make some changes now selecting the mate and use our arrow keys to move it a little bit so we have a bit of a clearance as you can see here and uh, using the control key and down arrow i can bring this up this hole so you can see now we've got good good clearance and this connector fits inside this hole so this is uh, a useful feature uh, with, with section views is making sure uh, uh, when you're assembling uh, 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 trying to insert the board into an enclosure if you've got holes and some connectors need to poke through the holes section views can be very very useful here okay so let's continue now and uh, insert this top cover and mate it with the rest of the enclosure so let's uh, go ahead and do that i'm going to select this face here and select this face here and now it's mated but i need to rotate it by 100 degrees so let's uh, do that now it's rotated and let me just change the transparency of this so i can see that is actually sitting on top here okay all right so now let's uh, use altium's collision check feature to see uh what collisions we might have and I, I can tell that there are a few already so let's uh go to tools and check collisions and you can see here the collision check is in progress it's running and we should get a window of all the collisions and the, where the errors are um and also altium does highlight those errors you can see here in white they might be difficult to see so to change those to red just simply go to view configuration and change the violation colors to uh, red so now we can see it clearly and uh, now let's use section views to uh, to go in more depth and see exactly what those collisions look like so let's uh, uh, I can either click on this button to enable section views or you can use the usual way of doing of, of doing that so I want to use the wide plane I'm going to get in a bit closer so I can tell you can see first of all it's those capacitors that are um, causing an issue and also we have the inductors over there as well let's get in a bit closer one one issue is that sometimes this arrow gizmo is all the way down here so it might be difficult sometimes to pan around uh, but we can tell now that this is the the inductors are also colliding so if I turn off section views and if I clear violations, you can see it more, more clearly now. So this design could benefit from, we definitely need uh, the, the enclosure to make thicker uh, or this, uh, this lid cover a bit thinner as well. So this is how section view can come in handy when you're trying to insert your boards and assembly into an enclosure. This is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching.